My name is Hannah Johnson. I'm a sophomore at Lincoln Southeast High School. Hey, and the title of this is a letter to the boy and best friend I thought was worth my ode to poems. <coughs> I am an extreme button poetry fan. I have it set so that every time they come out with a new video, there's a special ringtone on my phone. I listen to them everywhere. <coughs> Coming home from school, going to school, in the shower, long or short bike rides, making food in the shower, and the hallways at school, <laughs> literally everywhere. It always gets me thinking, maybe I could do that. So I thought I'd give it a try. First, I'm going to need a semi-traumatic experience. How about a boy? <laughs> Next, a really long, catchy tongue twister title. How about a letter to the boy and best friend I thought was worth my O2 poems? Okay. Finally, a whole bunch of words to follow it. Easy enough. I now understand why they call it a crush. My unreachable goal, you are mine. My best friend, my person, my disappointment, my kind of best friend. Slowly as everyone else fell away, you, become, you became the, one, the only one I had left. Now when I see you in the halls, you manage to override any poem that I am listening to, which makes me feel like I am at the Olive Garden and they're telling me to say when enough, cheese is enough, but I've said when. In fact, I've said when six times and they keep going. <laughs> makes, it's making a mess all over the table and the, only, and the only difference is we're in a crowded Midwestern high school hallway and it's not cheese, it's actually my anxiety levels making a mess all over the table. <laughs> now, I guess there's not that many tables in crowded high school hallways, but Somehow, I, I guess there's not many tables in, a, in crowded hallways, but there are lots of people, and yet I can still pick you out of a crowd way too easily. I can't figure out how to stop the waiter anymore. It used to be easy. We could talk and communicate like civilized human beings, not like an imploding civil war. And all you had to do was remove yourself from this whole cheese grating situation. I think, I think that'd be a really good place for a cheese pun, but turns out cheese jokes just aren't that great. <laughs> Since we both signed that paper saying we wouldn't talk or text anymore, I guess that makes it a little more difficult to actually say when out loud. I hate being afraid of your stares when a year ago I would have, commit, I would have done anything to steal a glance. I don't want to be afraid of the slamming of a locker thinking A, it's a gun, or B, I was the one who pushed you to shoot one. You used to hate violence. I don't understand how Neil and Reagan and Rachel can make it seem like they're, that they will be fixed by the end of their poems when I can't even write the illusion that I will be fixed at all. I guess I'm starting to realize that the one thing button poetry always has in common is that they don't end their poems with, with, the, illusion that they're going to, with the illusion that they're going to be fixed. They end their poems with the self-confidence that if this one doesn't, their next poem will. So with that being said, yeah, at one point you put stars in my sky, lines in my poems, and knew exactly how much cheese I liked on my food. But with that being said, this will also be the last one that I write about you. Woo!